First off, I had to bring so much stuff into my classroom today and we're gonna make silly putty. So I'm excited. So our entire schedule was upside down and backwards. Part of teaching is just knowing when you need to change a procedure or change what you're doing. Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. My name is Katie, and I am a fifth year teacher in the state of Florida, currently teaching in third grade, and I'm so glad you're here for this week's video. All right, this week I plan to take you guys along with me for a week in my life. So it is Monday. I did not vlog last week because we had like a field trip in the middle of the week, and so I was like, just not feeling it but I did film a plan with me video this past weekend so all of the things that I'm doing this week in my classroom I filmed out in detail how I listen plan them and I uploaded that in a video so I will link that video above for you guys if you'd like to check it out um, so you can see like the detailed lesson planning behind the week I will still show some details of it this week um, but I may not go like as into depth as I usually do since I have that planning video there um, so that's the plan <laughs> speaking of planning video so while I'm clicking on my slides on the board, let's just recap what we're doing today. So what today looks like, first off, I had to bring so much stuff into my classroom today. I have like a rolling cart, oh, you can see it right there, that I actually got from a neighbor. I've never been a rolling cart gal, but that was nice, not having to carry all that stuff in, I'm not gonna lie. So um, that was really fun. And so I had to bring all that in because we were cleaning out our extra room and I have a tall stack of book bins that I bought during my COVID year. So 2020, the, that year that I taught um, in person and just kind of distanced. And so I bought a bunch of book bins that year from the Dollar Tree that my students used to keep stuff in in their cubbies. And this was back when I taught first grade in Alabama and I have not used them since I moved to Florida. And I was like, okay, it's been two years now. I don't even have any book bins in use in my classroom right now period like at all I have a bunch of the Target ones and I prefer the Target ones to the Dollar Tree ones honestly so if I was gonna pick up a book bin and start to use a book bin in my classroom for something I would pick up one of those Target ones that I have stored over there that's like not being used before I would bring these Dollar Tree ones so I decided to send out an all call to the people in my school I'm almost done getting my stuff on the board sorry um, and I said hey does anybody want these? And there are people who said, yes, I will take them. So I used the rolling cart that my neighbors gave me to roll all those book bins up in here. And I'm gonna deliver them to that teacher today. So hopefully that will be nice. Um, I didn't wanna sell them because I was like, they're from the Dollar Tree. So I know they weren't worth that much to start with. Like anyways, and then I um, also was like, if I can help out a teacher here at the school, then that's what I wanna do because I don't want a teacher to have to go buy book bins. So that's what we're doing with that. Um, as far as the morning goes, yeah, we'll go over the morning and then this afternoon, I'll talk to you about the afternoon because that's a little bit more unsure. As far as the morning, as the morning goes, we're starting Go Math in chapter seven. So in just a moment, I need to go change my um, essential question. It's still division. So we're gonna start with like the little show what you know page and then go through the first session so that shouldn't be too difficult. And then we'll have our AR time and I need to make time for AR because my students like need to have time for AR. And last week we were kind of slacking. It's hard because it's like, I either get all of math finished or I get all of AR time. And I'm like, nah, I need to start getting both. So other things that we're doing in math. 
So something that I need to figure out, and I might just go put this on their desk, is I have their homework, and I'm so bad at remembering to pass out homework at the end of math, so I'm thinking I might just start putting it on their desks when they arrive in the morning so they can go ahead and put their name on it and put it in their Fox file, um, which is like their little organizer we use for all of our papers. So I'm gonna have to remember just to say something about that this morning though. Um, just to say, I'm gonna start putting it on their desk. It's one extra step for me in the morning, but I'm here early every morning anyways, and then I'll stop forgetting after math and they can just do that while they're unpacking. So I'm gonna try that today. And then we have our math review, which is from Math Tech Connections Inc. I've shared it before, and we'll do the Monday problems. So that's all we have for math and then AR. And then my kids will go to music for their specials today, which is funny because my students change the specials on the board at the end of the day every day. So on Friday, they change the specials for me. And usually they ask me and they're like, what's tomorrow's special? Because we don't go we do go in the same order, but we have PE twice in that rotation. So it's like two specials PE, two other specials PE. So it's not as, um, it's not as cut and dry as like going in the same order every week. And I didn't, they didn't ask me and I just looked up and I was like, oh, they changed the specials. I knew what came next. So, which I mean, it's January. So I would hope they kind of have gotten the gist of it, but I just noticed that. All right, morning slides are up on the board. So what I'm gonna do before the day starts is just change that essential question update my, I don't think I have to update my morning slides actually, I think I already did that. Um, yeah, I already did my morning slides, so that's cool. Shout out to my past self for that one. So I'm gonna change the essential question, put my morning slides up on the board, um, maybe organize this little cart and figure out which classroom number I'm taking it to so I can go deliver those. Or I might send students to go deliver it later, like during the morning time, because my kids love to like run errands. So sending two students, would be really fun anyways. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, I've got to print my, my lesson plans that I worked so hard on in that plan with me video. I have not printed them yet, so I'm gonna do that as well. As far as the afternoon goes with reading, I don't know what I'm gonna do with reading. I do, I have like four different things that I need to do, but I don't know what order or which one I'm gonna do first. So I'll just update you in the afternoon and let you know how reading went because I feel like that's gonna be easier. Yeah. Here's a little outfit of the day. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a vlog in a while. This um, shacket corduroy thing is from Walmart. I got it for Christmas for my mom. She saw it and she's like, it was way too cute to pass up. I've got these snake print booties that I got at some discount store, I have no idea. Old Navy jeans. <laughs> and then I'm wearing all my Ana Luisa pieces today. So I have on these cute earrings and then a chain necklace and my A necklace that I'm always wearing. So this is my outfit. It's kind of rainy today um, and warm, like 60s. I also realized this morning, this is the last, like today and tomorrow are the last two days of January. So like welcome to Florida because then it switches to February. So I'm gonna wear a lot of my pink stuff. I have a couple pink sweaters and then it'll be March. And I'm like, okay, I have like the next three weeks of my life to wear every sweater that I haven't worn yet because I live in Florida and it's not very cold. I was like, January's gonna be over. When March hits, it's definitely not gonna be sweaters. But we've had like medium to mild weather in January so far. We've had a few days that were pretty chilly, but maybe like four or five and then it's been mild. So not sweater weather. All right, so we just made it to the end of the day. Was it a Monday or was it a Monday? Like, it was a Monday and here's day, y'all. Just, whew. 
The good news is the Monday is over, so hopefully tomorrow will be better. We got through everything we wanted to in math, and then in reading, we went ahead and took our Unit 2 test, which went, okay, I think tomorrow we might go over the answers. There's my phone. That happens every time without fail. Okay, um, so we did our unit test and they went okay. I think tomorrow we might start our reading block going over it so I can show them where the answers were in the text. Some of them did really well, some of them not so much. Um, so all we did was the unit test and then we did our map quiz on the Northeast region because we've been working on regions of the United States for a very long time. So now we're moving to the Midwest region. Um, so tomorrow we're just gonna do a writing activity and I'll show that to you tomorrow. Um, but I was thinking about starting it today and then I was like, no, we just need to get these tests out of the way. I was missing some students though who were sick. So that was kind of a bummer because now I've got a lot of makeup testing to do, but such is the life of a teacher these days. Let me tell you, makeup work never stops. Um, speaking of makeup work, this is my little system. I've shared it before, but why not share it again? Anytime a student's gone, which I need to add some sticky notes up here. I just put a sticky note with the assignment, their student number, so I know who is missing what just by glancing at this and not having to sign into my grade book. So what I did this afternoon was I moved around a couple of things in my classroom like I moved all of the procedure posters that we made the first day back from the break and I hung up my magnetic notebook paper. Let me show you. So usually this is where our class commitments went, but now we're working on, which I hate that this was bent, but that's just how it came in the box. Um, so we're working on writing on notebook paper. So tomorrow when we do our final draft of our writing, I'm going to write on this. I'm going to have to test it and see how it does. It says it's dry erase. So Hopefully it works well. Um, and so then I took our commitments and I put them in the back of the room on the whiteboard. And instead of having these on the back of the room, I put them up in the front. So here are those commitments just hanging out back here. So that's about it for today. I have Bible study at my house tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and pack up my things and get ready to go. And then I'll be back in the morning. Good morning and happy Tuesday. I'm here a little later than I usually aim on Tuesdays and by later I mean it's like 7.20 and I usually get here at like 7. <laughs> so just 20 minutes. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. All the applications just opened at once on my board. Um, so I, it's not a big deal because I decided to sleep in because I realized when I woke up this morning that I really didn't have very much to do or set up this morning except just like turning on my slides, making sure those were up to date and um, setting out papers for the morning because our morning is gonna be like copy and paste what we did yesterday, except instead of dividing by twos, we're dividing by threes and we're also starting our fluency for fives. So on Tuesday, I give them like a pretest for a fact fluency. So today it'll be fives. And then on Thursday, we do a post test. So they have a couple nights to like really practice those fives and get fluent with them. Mind, mind you, or keep in mind, we've been doing fact fluency for multiplication We've been doing multiplication since October. So this is like, we're in the chapter on division. So I want, we haven't moved on from multiplication, but now we're just working on fluency. So like giving them three days is not like, oh my gosh, you're only giving them three days to learn all their fives. No, we've been practicing the fives since October. We've been doing fluencies and stuff and strategies and all of that since October. And so it's just kind of a quick little review to make sure everybody's tracking along with their fluencies. So that's what we're doing for the beginning of math today. And then we're gonna do all the regular stuff that we usually do. The one section of my day that's gonna be irregular, <laughs> and um, by irregular, I just mean we're doing something different, is language arts today. We're going to do some writing, some how-to writing, because um, it's been a while since we've done writing and unit two was supposed to be how-to. And so we're gonna do some how-to writing and we're gonna make silly putty. So I'm excited because I haven't made it with a class in like two years. Um, and I was like, this, you know, this will be a fun way for them to, to do silly putty or like to, to do how to writing. So I'm going to like give them the recipe. We'll go step by step. We'll put it up on the board. We'll make it. And then they'll have to write a how to writing where they turn it into sentences. And the only thing I'm going to let them look at at that point on is the ingredients list. So they have to kind of remember what did we do first? How did we like mix it together? It should be pretty easy. It's just like borax, 
warm water and glue. I don't know if our sink gets warm water though. I feel like I had this problem when I did it two years ago with my class. So I'll have to figure that out. Um, I have like a little water heater thing that I just got. And so maybe I'll use that. I don't know. I'll probably let you know what I did at the end of the day. And I'm like, fingers crossed that it works. But we have the cups, we have the Ziplocs, we have the glue, we have the borax. So it shouldn't be a big deal. And I'll have my planning time to like set up all the things. So the only thing I have left to do today, I just finished putting up my slide. Here it is. Isn't she lovely? The only thing I have left now is I've got this big bag of school supplies that was just left in my um, house <laughs> in our extra room that we cleaned out this weekend from when I moved classrooms. And so I need to go through it. Like there's packs of paper and just pencils and all kinds of random stuff. So I need to go through it and like um, sort those things into the correct supply bins over there and set out my papers and that's it. All right, whoop, let's move that up a little. All right, that's good. So we made it through to the end of our day. What a blast we had today in language arts. We ended up making the Silly Putty. I tested it during planning. It's in this little heart-shaped container that I did a couple years ago, but I just sent it home with them in Ziploc baggies. It's fine. Here's our um, Silly Putty example. Mine turned out great, oh my gosh. It's um, a little bit different from slime because it does like, you can tell it's more like a flubbery consistency, but it does take the shape of its container. Like I'll put it in here, it'll be in a ball. And then after I leave it in here for a while, it'll be the shape of the heart container. So here's like my little recipe for that. I'll probably like make it into a document, maybe link it for y'all. Silly putty recipe, here's what it looks like. So what I did was I gave them just the materials. We went over it and I told them I wasn't gonna show them the secret steps. It was like a mystery. So we came over to the table like table by table went step by step by step. I told them what to do, they did it. I told them what to do, they did it. It took a long time because I have a lot of students. And I think that's part of like the, the extra hurdle of this year is having 22 students is way different when like the most I've ever had is 16. So that's been very different because 22 is just a lot, but it was good. So they went through, we did all of that. And then we got to make the silly putty. I let them play with it for a little bit. Then we put it in bags and I told them to keep it in the bag so they could take it home and we started writing. And let me grab my little writer's journal. I think I put it away. All right, here it is. So we had already done in our second tab, we've already learned about how to writing. We've already practiced choosing a process. We brainstormed things we know how to do. We talked about steps, transition words. We found them in example text, etc. I will link this product if you want this writing journal product below. Something just fell out. So then we did this rough draft together and we made a list of the materials. I let them remember. And then I let them remember the steps and we wrote them out number by number. And they wrote down one cup of water in a cup, one teaspoon of borax in the cup, etc. So I did this with them up on the board so we could remember all the steps. Ugh. Sorry y'all, because it was a lot of steps. And then I used this product that I have from when I taught first grade. It's like a how-to writing bundle. I'm gonna try to find it because I got it like literally, I probably purchased it in 2018 or 2019. So it was, this was like years ago. Um, but it had this little how-to checklist. So after we finished the rough draft, we went over how to set up our notebook paper because I told them that's something that we are doing to get ready for fourth grade. So I used my big magnetic notebook paper. I showed them where to put the title, where to put their name. And then we went over this checklist. And this is the one I did in specific because I told them I did not want them to put the numbers. I was like, don't put the numbers in there. You need to put words. Um, we talked about how the main idea was the same thing as the intro. The wrap up sentence was our closing sentence. Does it make sense means capitals and periods. And I let them keep this checklist. 
they did their writing, when they were done, they had to go through the checklist and check it off, and then they were allowed to turn it in. And from what I saw, they turned out fabulous. So I can't wait to grade them. I have a rubric um, like this right here um, that I'm gonna use to grade all of those writings. I might do it this afternoon because I'm feeling like maybe I'll turn on some T-Swift music and just chill and grade because I like can't wait to see how they did. Like I'm, I'm jazzed to grade them right now, I'm ready. So, um, and that's all we did for that whole entire language arts block. Didn't get to start our maps or anything. I knew it was gonna take a long time, but they did really well and it was very fun. And I know they enjoyed the silly putty and it could have been a lot worse. We didn't have any messes. It was great. This recipe is like, see, look, there you go. It's working on the heart shape. This recipe was great because I gave them their Ziplocs and even though there was a little glue on the outside, like once they knead it with their hands after they've done it in the bag, the silly putty will literally get all the glue off their hands. So we like didn't really even have to wash our hands at the end. Like very clean, very successful. So it was a blast overall. Um, I've started doing some things on my checklist. As you saw, I've already done my calendar, changed my essential questions. So the only thing I really have left is to grade. Um, and then I'll go over all my stuff for tomorrow in the morning because I'll have plenty of time in the morning to like look over the lessons and make sure we're ready to go and all of that stuff. So just wanted to say this was a success. Yay. And they had so much fun. It was nice. I was like, let's just do something fun. And they were all talking and excited and meeting and it was great. It was really, really fun. I'm tired. Like you can tell that I'm worn out, but it was truly a blast. Happy Wednesday everybody first time I'm picking up my phone to talk to you all day um, it was a busy day but I knew it was gonna be busy because we had some like performers come to our school that sounds really weird they were opera singers and they did like a little play at the end of the day so our entire schedule was upside down and backwards so we started the day like writing down everything in our planners for February and then we looked at our schedule and I was like so we're gonna do computer time instead of the end of the day is gonna move here our recess time is gonna move here we had lunch in our classrooms because the performance was in the cafeteria and they needed to set up during our lunch time so it was kind of like a topsy-turvy day, but the things that we did was we went through the next session in math and then I was able to like introduce, we had recess like in the middle of the day, which was really weird and it took some of our reading time, but that's okay because of the opera, you know, all that stuff. So I was able to kind of like introduce, we started our new units and we needed to get a new book because um, units one and two were in one textbook and then three through five or in a second student textbook. So we passed out the books. We really got time to like, I gave them five minutes to look through them. I always do that when you give kids a new reading book, I always give them five minutes just to look through because I'm like, once we go, you're on the page that I'm on and we're not like peeking ahead or looking at other pages because that's distracting. So it's like five minutes, read through, do whatever. And it's always in their desk anyways, but I mean like the excitement for a new textbook is real so we did that we kind of like previewed it and did the introduction to the unit stuff because we're talking about heroes which I'm so great grateful for because we had been on unit two for such a long time and it was all about plants and animals which was fun and it's so engaging for kids but I'm like we've been on plants and animals for like months it's time to move on so now we're doing heroes and I'm really excited it's just gonna be like fresh blood in our um reading curriculum or whatever and so then we did like lunch in the classroom the opera and dismissal and it was like boom and then I had a meeting after school so I'm just now picking up the phone to check in which is fine I wore this um old navy sweater it's one of my favorite sweaters I wore it for the first day of February today it's old it's like three years old so otherwise I would like say go grab it now but it's an old one I call it my Neapolitan sweater because it looks like chocolate vanilla and then strawberry Anyways, so that's kind of like what the day was like and the reason why I didn't check in and I'm just sitting here in my car in the air conditioning because it feels nice. About to pull into the house and um, just chill and I'll talk it, I'll, I'll talk in. I will check in with you tomorrow at school and hopefully show you a little bit more of what we're doing than I did today. <laughs>
All right, good morning everyone. Happy Thursday. I'm gonna be working on getting things up on my board while I'm talking, you know the drill, because um, I'm running a little late today. I hit the snooze button. I think it's because I took a melatonin to get to sleep last night. I sat in bed for a while um, because I was like editing videos and just hanging out and reading. And so because I sat in bed for a while, I think it was hard for me to actually fall asleep when I was ready to like close my eyes and fall asleep. So I took a melatonin and I was like, that should help. That should be helpful. And um, then I was really tired when my alarm went off and I hit snooze and I really don't ever hit snooze. I only hit it once and then I got up, which is only like a difference of nine minutes, right? But it makes a big difference. And I'm gonna cover a teammate's morning duty today um, cause she wasn't able to do it. So I'm covering that. So I've gotta be somewhere at like eight o'clock, which is in like 30 minutes. So I still have a good bit of time but that kind of like cuts my morning a little bit shorter than it normally would be. So I was like, okay, I should have not, maybe not snoozed and gotten here a little earlier. It's fine though, cause I've already turned everything on. I think I've gotten mostly everything pulled up on my board. I'm just working on getting the math book pages pulled up and I have passed out homework. So I should be like pretty much good to go. What I wanted to jump on and show you. Um, so I was editing this footage together last night and I realized we're already at like over 20 minutes for this vlog and I was like it's only Thursday so I think this might be the day that I end the vlog I may just not vlog tomorrow so I wanted to make sure there was one more thing that I really wanted to show you in this week's vlog um, and that is the new way that I'm doing my students rotation work so if you've been following along for a while you've seen like the rotations checklist I've shown it to you in previous vlogs and I'm gonna have to go sorry I'm almost done with these pages I know it's like confusing to have my eyes looking the other way um I'm gonna have to go like find which vlog I really showed it to you and I'll try to link that one so you can see it but I'm changing it part of teaching is just knowing when you need to change a procedure or change what you're doing so what I had previously was a checklist page a spelling packet and a vocabulary packet and they could work on whatever they wanted whatever time like they could work on spelling if they wanted vocabulary and they just checked it off when they were done and when they finished them all they went to a choice center well, I have like two different ends of the the pendulum here. I have the ones who finish in like two days of independent work time, and then they have three or four days of just straight choice centers. And I was like, mm, it might be better if they were practicing spelling words a little bit each day. And then I had the students who just like weren't finishing. And then I have the ones who couldn't keep up with three papers, even though we have a file folder to keep them in. So what I've changed it to is to look like this. So now instead of them getting to choose what they do each day, they do a little bit of spelling, a little bit of vocabulary, and then a choice. And that's what it's gonna look like. And we're gonna see how this goes. I think it'll be better. So it says directions, find today and the two listed and two listed assignments. Cross out the box when you've finished. If you've completed today's assignment, you may pick a choice center. So for example, today is day one. So they're gonna do a spelling page, a vocabulary page, then they can do choice, which is all of these right here. Um, and then day two, same thing. Day three, I put the reading response in because I still want them doing at least one open-ended question during the day. So it goes with the text that we have online. So that's still accessed the exact same way. So now the question says, describe what happened in Annie's dream. Write at least three sentences. So they are just responsible for the title, saying if it was fiction or nonfiction, and then they respond to that on Wednesday. So here's kind of like what the packet looks like. And it's exactly the same, except just like stapled differently and not in three different packets so like the inside cover is still the exact same spelling word packet that we've been using because this has been good we've been underlining the word study focus doing all that stuff with the words then we have a spelling page for them to practice you can see there's a little one at the bottom for day one and on the back of that page is a vocabulary page and all the vocabulary pages look the same they look like this so they will pick one of the vocabulary words so we're gonna write the definitions down on notebook paper practice that notebook paper formatting today they'll pick one of the words put it in here they rewrite the definition they use it in a sentence they write a synonym for it and they draw a picture for it so similar to what we were doing in the little booklet in fact this is the same product as a little booklet it's just a whole page for one word um, and then it continues. So like here's day two spelling, day two's vocabulary, day three's spelling, which is pretty simple. It shouldn't take them too long. Day three's vocabulary, day four spelling, day four's vocabulary, four spell, five spelling, five vocabulary. And then day six says finish packet, 
turn into pink tray, and then a choice center. And that's for when they're done with their test on the last day. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to introduce that today. Um, and so that should be good to go. Oof, getting a good stretch in. It feels so good. The other thing I did after school yesterday was I got our anchor charts ready. So I will show you the anchor charts because we're going to start one of them today and then the rest of them we'll do for the rest of the unit. Also, it's picture day. So I'm wearing like my cute little dress and my, um, what is this? Like a shirt tied over it. Here you go. Whoa, the camera just like fell. All right, we switched to what qualities do you see in a hero? Our text that they're listening to today is called Crossing the Rockies. It's historical fiction, so we're going to talk about that as a genre. Then here's what we're focusing on this week. The setting is where the story takes place. It impacts the plot and the characters. So the setting of the story is blank. It impacts the story because blank. So how does where the story, which in this case, it's in the Rockies, how does that impact or affect the characters or what happens in the story? And then we're going to read, since I'm not jumping on tomorrow, <laughs> this is what we're going to start tomorrow. And I'll probably show it more if I vlog next week. But our like main text is Below Deck, a Titanic story. Again, historical fiction. We're going to brainstorm background knowledge for it. And then the same thing. The setting of the story is blank. It impacts the story because blank. And here's the full outfit. I've worn this one before. It's a dress from TJ Maxx. And a t-shirt from Old Navy that's just tied over it. This is my picture day outfit and some sandals. It is 65 degrees, going to be 70 degrees today in Florida. And the rest of the world is in ice. Like my mom lives up north and they don't have snow or they don't have school because of snow, because of ice. Same with a lot of schools in Texas. Meanwhile, in Florida, <laughs> t-shirt and sandals. So there you go. All right, we made it to the end of our Thursday today. I am very sleepy and my hair has definitely seen a lot better days but things that went well first off our um packet was a huge success today so i modeled it with my class this isn't the one i modeled with though let me find the one i modeled with here we are student name covered for privacy so i modeled it with my class and we did the vocabulary page together we went through our words with prefixes and talked about each of the prefixes that we were studying this week and defined them over here then students did this page that was labeled number one in spelling, and we did this one together with vocabulary for our word abandon. To leave, up, to take leave of or desert, abandon the classroom because there's a fire, go away or leave, draw a picture. And all of that was based on our vocabulary, so here's how we wrote the vocabulary down on our piece of paper. So we did this first, then we did the packet, and they just picked one word for us to do today. And then here's what our anchor chart looks like at the end of the day today. So we went over historical fiction. We talked about why Crossing the Rockies was historical fiction. We talked about setting. And then they helped me fill in this blank. The setting of the story is the Rocky Mountains. It impacts the story because they were exploring and traveling and had to survive. Like they ran out of water, had to find horses, all of those things. So that's how the setting impacted the plot. Good morning and happy Friday. I've just arrived at school because I stopped by Starbucks to get a drink. Um, last time I stopped at Starbucks, I didn't like the drink that I got. This time I ordered something that I knew I liked, but it took 30 minutes for my mobile order. At the same Starbucks, I've been to that one a couple of times. They don't have a drive through so they have to walk in and I've never waited that long for my mobile order. 30 minutes y'all, 30 minutes. And so I am at school at like a way later time than I usually am, but we had friends over last night and I stayed up late playing board games and stuff and eating dinner and all of that. And so I needed to get coffee this morning and I'm out at the house. So was it kind of a necessity? Maybe, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and I used a gift card. I had a gift card from Christmas. So, and it was hard because you're like, you don't want to be rude to the employees because they've been making coffees nonstop. But finally I was like, okay, I've been here for about 25 minutes waiting for my order. And they were like, oh, yours is coming up. Katie, yeah, we got you. And then it was somebody's like jumbo frappuccino. I was like, that's not me. And they were like, oh, it must be a different Katie. What'd you order? And they were like, oh, somebody else must have taken the drink. So whatever. I was like, that's fine. And so then they finally made me my drink. So here I am at school super late, but I got everything done yesterday afternoon that I needed to do anyways. 
it's just whew. so and also here I am vlogging on Friday even though I said I probably wasn't going to so this is all I have time for this morning and I'll let you know how our Friday goes and close out this vlog at the end of the day All right, y'all, here's the end of the day Friday me. I am like sweating, sweating from putting all those desks and moving them. Like the first thing I did that I didn't even film was I just like arranged them um, to make sure it would fit the way that I was hoping all the desks would fit because it was just time to move some seats. People were getting annoyed, irritated, etc., etc. And I just needed to shift some people around. So I was like, well, let's move desks and see if this will like even fit in this classroom. Cause there's only so many ways the desks can fit. And then after I did all that, I sat down and I made what you saw was like the little um, cheat sheet. And I like arranged, oh, excuse me. I arranged all the students and I put their names in there and said, this is where so-and-so will sit. And that took me forever to figure out because well, you know why. It just takes a long time to figure out where students need to sit. And then I had to move them all. And usually David will come help me, but he's at work. And so he said he could, but um, not right at that minute. And I'm not trying to stay here much later than I am right now. So I just moved all those desks and oh my gosh. But it's going to feel good to have a new arrangement on Monday. If it doesn't work, we'll like move it immediately and just try something different. But I think this arrangement will work nicely. It looks nice in here. Um... So that's good. Yeah, that's about all I got is it looks nice. Um, today was fine. We got everything done that we needed to do. I feel like I say that every single day. Um, and that's not even true. We don't always get done what we needed to get done. But we, we made it through every subject of the day. <laughs> and it was fine. Um, the weather lightened up, which was good. The Starbucks thing just kind of threw me off. And then I didn't, my drink was okay. I got an iced caramel macchiato. But, you know, the last few times I've gone to Starbucks, I haven't even like really loved what I gotten what I've gotten but I've gotten them with gift cards so at least I didn't pay for it but I probably won't be I mean I definitely don't usually go to Starbucks on my own money anyways but I probably won't be because I just didn't like enjoy it I'd rather go to Duncan or go to like the local place that's here or we have another little drive through place that's close to us it's called like Eliano's I don't know if you've ever been there before but like I'd rather pay for that than pay for Starbucks personally but anyways um so it was good it was fine but it started off just so cold and rainy. And then luckily by the end of the day, it was sunny. And so we got to go outside for recess, which was a big hallelujah. Because if we were inside for recess, I was like, I'm going to die. It's going to be such a long afternoon. But it didn't have to be as long. Um, that's it. I'm done rambling. Oh, but like reading went great. Math went great. We did like a color by division fact because we've been doing division for so long. It was like they just need like a fun way to practice it on a Friday. Which I meant to go over like grade and send home with them today. And I forgot. Um, but oh well, that's okay. I just realized there's water bottles in the water bottle holder too. They're disposable, so I'm probably just gonna pick them. Oh, I'm no, oh, I'm sleepy again. I stayed up late last night. I mean, I went to bed at like 11:30, which was later than I have all week. But this is how I felt every day after school. So <laughs> I'm gonna go home and sleep all weekend, and it's gonna be so nice. And I'm sorry, I feel like I'm very distracted too in this closing clip. I've, I'm not even looking like directly at the camera. I'm just like looking around the room. I'm still scanning the seating to make sure I like like how it feels. Like here I am sitting at my table. Do I still like the feel of all the desks? And I'm pretty sure that I do. Um, and then I'm just like looking all around. It's like I'm, I can't focus my brain. I'm tired. So in that case, I'm going to go home. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this vlog this week. 
Um, I decided to do something different this week. I put up a poll on my YouTube and I like didn't put music for my B-roll footage. I just kind of kept it the raw sounds. So let me know what you thought of that down below. It's easier editing wise, but I mean, I think I like to listen to both like ones that are raw sounds and ones that have music. What I don't like is if like a vlog has music and then it doesn't. That's not what I mean. Like if the B-roll footage has music and then like the next time it's just B-roll, it doesn't because then it's like awkward. Like, oh, they forget to put the music. But I just didn't put music on the whole thing. So um, let me know what you thought about that. And if you prefer the chill beats, that's fine. I'll put some chill beats in the next one. I just thought I'd do something different for this vlog and keep it real <laughs> with you guys. Um, so this was a very real and raw week in my life. It was pretty good. It was busy. Welcome to February. I'm so excited to be in a new month, new seating arrangement. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. As always, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any content and I will see you guys in the next one.